Hello everybody, how is it going? In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to install Kodi 17.0 on your Fire Stick. Now, the first thing we need to do is go down to Settings and then go all the way down uh, to Systems. Scroll down to the Developer Options and make sure Apps from Unknown Sources is turned on. You're going to get a warning message. Let's click on OK. Once done, go back to the home page and now we're going to download an app called ES File Explorer which will allow us to then download the Kodi app. If you haven't got the ES File Explorer app, installing it is pretty straightforward. ES File, go down, click on that and that's going to give you the ES File Explorer app. I have already had it installed. You're going to get download instead of open, download it, install it, once done, it's completely free. Click on open and that's going to launch the ES File Explorer app. Once it's open, go to the left hand side, scroll all the way down to tools, click on tools, download manager, go to the right, keep clicking down and then go to new. For path, enter HTTPS Go to symbols, column, slash, slash The V P N Dot Guru Another slash Cody dot APK. Please input the file name, just call it Cody. Click on next and now we're gonna get the option to download it. Click on that. I've already have it downloaded and you just wait for the whole process to finish or just simply click on hide and then you can go find it in local, download and this is what the file looks like once it's downloaded. As you can see Kodi 17.0. Click on that and then Click on install and go to click on install again and that's going to install the Kodi app on your Fire Stick. And it's a pretty awesome app to be honest, it gets you tons of new options, just a whole new level of entertainment in terms of live streaming or streaming movies, TV shows, whatever you want, you can find on Kodi. Installation process just gonna take a bit. And that's it. Select open and the Kodi Crypton app is preparing for the first one as you can see the first time it launches it takes a little bit longer than usual but after that it just runs pretty smooth without any issues and uh, the guys Kodi developers completely overhauled the user interface looks much smoother now as you can see, TV shows, music, add-ons, and, uh, and you can, I'm, I'm going to include uh, tutorials on how to add uh, Exodus and other add-ons in the description of this video. 
So if you want to install those, just click on the, uh, this, the link in the description of this video. I hope you enjoyed this video and have a nice day. See you later. Bye bye.